So I was uh, looking for a position. I was in New York in Rockefeller University. And basically I applied here because I saw this new institute, INBA, Institute of Molecular Biotechnology, coming up. And I just decided to apply. And I got the position. So, but now I can say seven years later, I'm looking retrospectively, looking back, I think it was a great decision, both, both the institute, which has uh, grown fantastically well in all this time, and also to choose Vienna. I think it has two components. One is because you go to a conference and you learn. You go there to learn. And you learn about your topic, but you also learn about so many other things, which is also quite essential to widen your perspectives. Huh? You have to know what you do, but you have to also keep wide um, spectrum of topics around. But it's not just sitting there in the audience and listening to this important guys giving talk. So sometimes the most important about the meetings is just the chatting, to get to know people, to stand in posters, to just to be around, to bump into people, also to get to know other guys, what they are doing, to establish collaborations. And believe it or not, sometimes it's important because you know if you have competition or not in your topic. So by going there, you, you meet everybody, it's like a snapshot. So this is one side, the knowledge and get to know what, what is going on. And the other part is the motivation, so which I, I really like a lot. Because if you leave the lab and you see how the PhDs and the postdocs uh, work so hard, and they want to go to meetings also, because I said before, because they want to learn and because they want to show what they have done. And they deserve to do that. When I say who would go here, would go there, so eyes open wide and everybody's so excited. And you know, so immediately they go back to the lab and start checking which is the hotel, which is the cheapest flight. So it really brings a lot of energy. And um, it's, it's very important for the development of the people. So then after the meeting, you come back you are full of ideas, you want to do so many things because you've got so, so many concepts and, and you know, links with people. So I think it's a very important part of the, the life of a scientist. I think it's a special meeting because it's not just about one topic, but it's about wide biology. It's, to me, it's like a, I would define it like a high quality snapshot of what is going on in all branches of, of biology. So it's important sometimes not to, not to attend your meeting, but to see beyond that and besides that. Hmm? So um, this is one, one of the features of the EMBO meeting. And the other one is that it's not just about science, because EMBO is doing so many other things than just typically academic science. So they, they care a lot about topics like science and society alternative careers, alternative paths. So people go in there, they can have the chance to, to meet other kinds of persons and, and get to know what else they can do. It's not a must to be postdoc and group leader, okay? So I think there is a good venue to, to scan all these possibilities and get aware of what, what are the choices and the alternatives. And so I really look forward to, to, to be here in Vienna when, when it happens. <laughs>